Tonight about a scam hurting people who sell items online. It's known as the Google Voice verification scam. The FTC says scammers contact you about an item you're selling. Then they say they want to verify that you are real. Lauren Schwenker shows us the way that fake request unfolds next. Lauren. The scammer will send you a text that looks like this and then ask you for the code. If you give it to them, they'll try to use it to create a Google Voice number linked to your phone number and use that to rip off others using your identity. It's that time of the year. When folks are selling things on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, it kind of feels just a, a normal everyday transaction these days. From garage sales to moving in or out, lots of people turn to selling online. And it's something scammers are feeding on. When somebody poses the question to you that they want to try to verify you, it almost gives it a little bit of legitimacy and sort of takes you off guard. Like you absolutely want to prove you're a, you're a, a good person, right? Pamela Hernandez with the BBB says someone trying to verify you being real is a red flag and a newer scammer tactic. Take a look at these screenshots from a victim here in the 417. The scammer is interested in buying something on Marketplace, and they even agree on a place and time. The scammer then sends a Google Voice code, claiming to verify that the seller is real. What happens with this Google Voice scam is they can set up a, a phone number, a Google Voice phone number, and then they can use that to hide their identity for other scams. And if they get some of your personal information as well, uh, they could even open bank accounts in your name. Springfield police say it's not a reportable crime unless money is stolen or your identity is taken. If you haven't noticed any um, financial accounts that have been opened in your name, or if you haven't um, lost any significant amount of money, there wouldn't be a crime there that we could report. If you do happen to come across something that is odd or unusual, you can always let us know about it. Chris Swatters with Springfield Police says to make sure you keep an eye on your bank account, credit reports, and to change passwords on your accounts just to be safe. If you're communicating with someone online who also says they're afraid of getting scammed and they're asking for information from you to verify who you are and it's hard to know who is telling the truth and who isn't. Now, if you are a victim or know somebody who is, Google has created a way to fix it. You will click on the link provided in the original text from Google and scroll to the bottom. We have a step-by-step -step guide on how to do so, and it will be listed at the bottom of this article on KY3.com.